Following multiple teasers and a delay caused by the microchip shortage, the relatively high-riding Maserati Grecale debuts in GT, Modena, and Trofeo flavors. Named after a northeasterly Mediterranean wind, the Grecale with combustion engines is shown alongside the purely electric derivative part of the recently announced Four Goal lineup. The EV will hit the market a year after the gas model with a similar look, save for a different grille with curved grille slats and aerodynamic wheels. It looks properly sporty without being a Levante scaled down to 75%. Some had concerns it would look a lot like the Ford Puma because of some headlight similarities, but the Grecale has its own visual identity. It's particularly fetching in the Trofeo guise with its wider air intakes part of an aggressive body kit. At the heart of the top spec version is a 3.0 liter V6 taken from the MC20, complete with a pair of turbochargers. It develops a healthy 523 horsepower and a peak torque of 457 pound-feet. It's enough six-cylinder punch to allow the Grecale hit 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. Flat out, it will do 177 miles per hour. The Grecale Trofeo has been engineered with an 8-speed CF automatic transmission sending all that power to an all-wheel drive setup with a limited slip electronic rear differential. The four-cylinder versions, also using an all-wheel drive layout, have either an open mechanical or a limited slip mechanical diff along with a different version of the 8-speed auto. Speaking of lesser models, the entry-level GT uses a 2.0-liter turbocharged engine with mild hybrid technology. It pushes out a still respectable 296 horsepower and 332 pounds-foot from 2,000 revolutions per minute whereas the Modena ups the horsepower count to 325 horsepower while retaining the same level of torque. The sprint takes 5.6 seconds in the case of the base model or 0.3 seconds less for the mid-range model. Both can do 149 miles per hour. Maserati is eager to share some preliminary specs concerning the zero emission for goal as well. Available in an exclusive Rame Fulgor paint, the Grecale EV will come with a fairly large 105 kilowatt hour battery pack and will utilize 400 volts technology. Its electric motors will deliver a combined near instant torque of 590 pounds foot. the subject of the interior, the Grecale is the latest example of cramming more screen real estate. You'll be surprised to hear there are technically four screens. Aside from the obvious digital driver's display and the pair of touchscreens on the center console, the clock is also a screen. The instrument cluster and upper touchscreen both measure 12.3 inches whereas the lower display has an 8.8 inch diagonal. The latter features the conventional buttons and knobs to control the climate settings. Should you want an extra display, Maserati will sell its new crossover with an optional head-up display, promising segment-leading viewing angles, contrast, and brightness. For more money, the Grecale can lose the standard 19-inch wheels for larger 20 or 21-inch sets. You can also go for a high-end 21-speaker Sonus Faber sound system with 1,000 watts of power. Europe will be the first region to get the crossover in the first half of the year, with the US, Canada, and select Latin American countries to follow this fall. Maserati has shared preliminary US pricing for the 2023 Grecale, which starts at $63,500 for the GT. Available for a short while by making an online reservation, the Modena Limited Edition costs $77,400. Both prices exclude the $1,495 destination and handling fees.